Good morning everyone, I hope you're all well. Today is Wednesday, I can't, I'm a day behind, a day ahead of myself this week. It is Wednesday the 27th of March, I think. Anyway, it's around then. And as always, I'm going to start today's vlog with our news. However, the first piece of news is not so good. Granny Annie, who is my mum for anyone who's new, is in the hospital. She was admitted yesterday. She's okay. Well, she's not, but she is. Um, last week, basically, last Tuesday, she got a really bad upset tummy. I'll spare you the details, but you know where I'm going with that. And um, by Monday, it was still just as bad. She was in agony. She was being sick all the time, just not happy. So I persuaded her to make a doctor's appointment. She went to the doctor yesterday morning and the doctor was worried that she might have a bowel blockage. So sent her to the hospital. So they admitted her at the hospital yesterday and they did scans and things. And they have said that it's not a blockage, thankfully. It is diverticulitis. So basically, what happens is, as you get older, most people get little sort of pockets forming around their bowel, and they don't normally cause any problems or even any symptoms. A lot of people have them without knowing. However, something can happen to irritate them, inflame them, and they can get filled with pus, which is an infection, and then it becomes diverticulitis, which is what Granny Annie has got. So they wanted to give her an anti-sickness tablet yesterday so that she could eat, so they could send her home. And I'm like, do not let them do that. So they gave her the anti-sickness tablet, but they could see how unwell she was and decided to keep her in, thankfully, because I would have went nuts if they had sent her home the way that she was. And so she hadn't seen a doctor last night. She'd heard something about going to be getting antibiotics, but no doctor had been round to see it. The NHS is on its knees just now. The nurses run the wards, which is great for nurses, but it's not at the same time because, you know, there's a reason there's a difference between nurses and doctors. There's only so much nurses can do. So they kept her in and this morning I heard that she had had a bad night, but more with sickness than pain because the painkillers that she gave her were ones that she told that they gave her were ones that she told them she can't take because they make her sick. Yeah. So she wasn't in so much pain, but she was being sick. What is the point in that? So this morning, the doctor came round and told her that the plan was to give her antibiotics, to get her more settled. Hopefully they're changing the painkillers, I didn't ask. Um, and the usual fruit, veg and laxatives, which to me is a decades old remedy. But we'll go with it just now and we'll see how she gets on and then, you know, we'll look at it again once she's home. The ex-nursing mate is like, ah, you need to look at the modern research to see the best things. But anyway, we won't go there. So that's where we're at just now. So as of today, she's been in for one night. She wasn't well. She had to stop texting me because she was feeling really sick. So I will let you know if we get an update. But please keep Granny Annie in your thoughts. As soon as I find out any more, I will let you know. Um, it's not anything life-threatening, but she's really unwell, so please keep her in your thoughts. Anyway, turning that negative into a positive, usually when I go through emotional stress like that, my first response is to face plant chocolate and all the junk I can get my hands on. This time, I've not even thought about, well, I thought about it, but I wasn't tempted. Not at all. For some reason, the way that I'm eating is agreeing with me so much that, yeah, I still get sugar cravings, I still want all the sugar, all the chocolate, but I didn't feel the need. My head must be in a better place with the way I'm eating, and I didn't feel the need to, say, stuff it and face plant all the chocolate. So that is a positive thing that has came out of that. Hold on, I need a drink. I've started on new tablets that the hospital consultant prescribed the other week, and they're making me so thirsty. Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, that was a good thing. This is day 30 of my diet, apart from the two days that I was off, but we're not going to think about that. Um, so tomorrow I will be weighing myself and doing all my measurements, and I'm really excited. And I did say that I was going to sort of 
reflect on it and decide what I was going to do from here, like once I got to the end of 30 days. And I'm loving it so far. I'm going to do another 30 days and then weigh and measure again and reflect. These dogs. Sorry, that was Jack coming back from the gym. Uh, where was I? So in other news, what else has been happening? Abby has some news and uh, she wanted to tell yourself, so I took this one. So here is Abby getting ready for work and she has even more news. Tell everybody your news. I've got a job at a pub. You've got a job at a pub, yay! To give you some extra pocket money so you can live as well as run in your car. <laughs> I can finally go and book a lash appointment. Ah, you've, oh, you've not had your lashes done for ages. That shows your dedication to driving. <laughs> <laughs> it shows my dedication to not getting arrested for money frauds. That's true. So, yeah, so you start Saturday, did you say? A no, today. today. A week today. Cool. And uh, your hours you're not sure of yet, you're just going to take as and when you can get them. But as I said, you can socialise while you're working, so well, you can earn money while socialising. Next week I'm working 7 to 11, then 2 to 6, that's 8 hours, so that will be about 90 quid. Well, there you if go. If I do that every week, yeah, that's a lot of money per month. Yeah, and while you're doing that, you're not spending money. So. Well, exactly. Excellent. Good, good. Right, I'll let you go on and get ready for work. So yeah, she has a second job now. She's still working at Toyota and loving it. That's her full-time job. But so that she could get extra pennies, she has taken on a bar job as well. And I think it's going to be really good for her. Her friend works in a bar, not the same one, but um, Abby quite often goes and sees her when she's working. So I would imagine the same sort of thing will happen with Abby's friends. And so it will save her money and she'll be making money just because of the cost of the petrol and the insurance is ridiculous and we've not got the money to keep subsidising her, we wish we could but we've not. So that's Abby's news. Brooke, as you may know, is away sailing just now. She got in touch yesterday and they were anchored in Loch Fyne somewhere and she seemed to be really enjoying it. Her hands were sore from pulling the ropes when you're trying to raise the sails and things. So she has obviously been working hard. I think the water's been quite rough. She was saying that um, the, the boat was pretty much on its side a lot of the time yesterday. And I went, oh, it's exciting when that happens because you're steering straight into the water. And she went, yeah, but not so much when you're getting ready to pull the sails up. And I was like, mm, good point. So, yeah, she seems to be enjoying that, which is good. What else has been happening? We got our internet sorted yesterday. Um, the guy came, he was supposed to be coming between 8 and 1. He arrived at half past 8, which was fantastic. And all he did was, he was here maybe about half an hour, 45 minutes, and he basically just replaced a section of cable that had been getting squashed by the scurfing board. And he's put a sturdier cable in because it's fibre optic, just the least little kink can stop it from working and give you intermittent faults like we were getting. So that has all been done and uh, we've noticed a huge difference already. We still don't know if we're going to have to pay for it or not, we'll wait until our BT bill comes in and we'll find out. So I think that is our news at the moment. Um, what I didn't realise was that Easter is this weekend. I don't know what I was thinking. For weeks, it's felt like it's weeks away. And even with Brooke going away this week, I was thinking that she had she should have had a week off school, then Easter, and then the next week off school. But no, it was she was meant to be finishing school tomorrow and have an Easter weekend and then off for two weeks. So it completely caught me by surprise that <laughs> it is Easter already and I've not made half of the Easter crafts that I wanted to. You might know I've got all this stuff and I had all these ideas in my mind and it just hasn't happened. So I'm kind of in two minds whether to just put all my Easter stuff away and you know work on a couple of bits that I'm wanting to finish and then just do it all for next year. I'm not sure. Anyway my plan for today is I have got uh, my B12 injection at quarter past 12 so I need to go along to the doctors for that. I have got a consultant phone appointment at quarter past one. And it's basically the guy about the headaches when, that got me the injection. So this is his follow-up. But I should have had two injections by now. 
because the nurse went off on maternity leave and they didn't get themselves into gear quick enough to get a replacement, I've still not had my second one. So we'll see what he says. The first one definitely did help, but it is coming back. So we'll talk to him today and see what he says about that. And other than that, I think I'm just going to diddle about in here. I'm needing to dust everything in here. It is a bit of a mess. Try and get the bits that I have done for Easter out and then decide what I'm going to do with the rest of my Easter stuff. I'm not really sure. Hmm. So, yeah, I will get on with some of that and I will come back to you in a little while. So I've had a little spruce up of my craft room, just done a bit of polishing and things like that. I've put some spring things up there. Well, I think they've had the, that diamond painting up there for a while. I put that back up there. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. It's very spring-like. I do want that to go up there, but I'll need to get Jack to put a screw or something in. I've tried to put a wee sticky hook on, but it just keeps falling off. But yeah, I've had that for a wee while, actually, my spring diamond painting storage. I've got my wee spring lamb, which is finished now up there. Look, how cute is that? <laughs> and I have put the little bunny with the egg that I don't like there, but I'm not going to have time to do another one now before Easter, so I thought I'll just put it there anyway. I have got my cute little dragon up there, and that's the other dragon that I made. I have got the wolf that I made that I showed you the other day up there beside the other wolf things. Um, and I've got my wee carousel down there, things like that. I have put the three remaining Easter bunny key rings on my little tree. That is all the tree decorations I've got for Easter. That is terrible. I can't believe it sneaked up on me like this. And then up there I have got the sun catchers. So I did get the hooks, the little sticky hooks that go on the window from Amazon. They do them on Timu, but I didn't have time to wait. Please excuse the mess of the windows. <laughs> That's on the outside, not the inside. Um, so yeah, I've got them up there as well. When it's a nice day, I'm sure we'll see them better. And what else? That stuff there that I'm going to deal with in a second. But I've got... Oh yeah, there's my wind, my wind chime that I put up there. That's yesterday's crafting chat for you. It's going up today. Um, this is all my Easter stuff and I'm going to have to get that put away somewhere. I've been putting things in there, but I don't know if I'll be able to get all of that to fit in there. But I'm just going to put it away. I know it's not Easter yet, but I'm not going to get time to do any of it now. So yeah, I'm going to put it away until next year and I'll just be more organised. It won't sneak up on me next year. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll have this drawer free for other things. Um, when I was going through it all, I found some Easter things that I had bought at the range, Easter craft things, and I'd put away and forgot about. So let's have a look. Ugh. They were all on sale, so... Look, Hoppy Easter. So that's just a wooden sign that I'm going to paint and resin and things like that. Again, now for next year. Um, now's the time to be getting things like that for, like, in the sale. Well, not now, but after Easter. Although, in saying that, that was a few weeks ago and it was reduced. I got some of that, the Glimmer Shred. Hey, look at it. Isn't that cute? I might not put that away in the Easter thing because that could be used for anything. That was a pound. And you get a lot of it in there. I got this little Easter uh, gonk, which is so cute. Again, to do, but it will be next year now. That is a hangy up sign. That was... It's not got the price on it. But again, it was reduced. This is gorgeous as well. Easter window art, and it comes with paint. I've got no idea what it's actually like. Oh, it's got little googly eyes as well. I've got no idea what it's actually like. I've not opened it, but again, I'll do that next year. That was a pound. Some of the prices are really good in the range. Oh, I forgot I had bought that for Brooke. <laughs> That's her favourite seasoning, and I've only seen it in the range. She'll be happy when she comes back. And finally, I got an Easter glitter set. Again, I'll probably just put that with all my glitters now. That was 69 pence for all that glitter. Yay. So, yeah, I forgot. I had kept it safe to show you and then totally forgot about it. <laughs> now, this stuff here is stuff that I am going to finish for Easter because it won't take me long. This was my Valentine's um, frame 
which was on the middle bit of that there. So I'm going to Easter that up with some of this stuff and I'm going to put my clear coating of resin on this bunny and put him somewhere as well. So I think once I've done all that, like the, the wee bits that I want to do for Easter and all my Easter stuff's away, I'm going to actually spend a month or so just doing what I want to do rather than doing things because it's coming up to Easter or because it's coming up to Valentine's Day, that sort of thing. And I've got a little thing on the way from BB Craft that's different, completely different that I want to try. And I really want to start my trying my engraving machine, but because I've been trying to get myself to do all this stuff for Easter that hasn't actually happened anyway, I've not had a chance. So I want to take a month out just to do all that sort of thing. Um, just enjoy playing with bits and pieces and then I think I might go on to Christmas. I know, I know. But last year it was February or March. Can't remember. February, I think I had January off and I started on Christmas on, in February. So I'll be doing good this year if it's sort of the end of April, beginning of May. Um, and then I'll do Christmas stuff and then I'll take a break to do autumn and Halloween and then go back to Christmas again. Christmas is my happy place, you know that. So yeah. That is what I'm planning. So I'm going to get all this stuff put away now. And then I need to head to the doctor's very shortly. So I'll catch up with you after that. Well, I am back from the doctor's. Got my B12, nice and easy, very quick. But it is like a winter's day out there. Absolutely freezing. And I got drenched. So I've came straight in, got my cosy jammies on, and I'm making myself a hot drink. I'll drink that and then it'll be time to try and find a place in the house that I get a signal for the consultant to phone me. Oh, we'll see how that goes. Well, good evening everyone and you will be pleased to hear I'm going to end this vlog quite quickly because my camera is, well, my phone is about to die. I just wanted to quickly update you on what's happened since I last spoke to you. I spoke to the consultant on the phone and explained that the injection did help my headache and that I was due to have another one but missed it because of their staffing issues and that it's starting to come back again. Basically, he was really pleased that it had worked, but he can't get an appointment any sooner than May for me. So I just need to keep it until then, unfortunately. But he said that they're, they're training up quite a few nurses now, so there shouldn't be a delay between the next one and the one after that. So that's quite good. So I was quite happy with that. And as far as Granny Annie's concerned, she's still in the hospital. She's definitely feeling a little bit better. Um, she managed to eat a tiny bit earlier on she's had a shower so that's all good but they're wanting to keep her until they're sure that she's definitely on the mend which is a good thing as well she started her antibiotics it's by tablet not iv which mm, um so yeah hopefully she'll get home tomorrow we'll just keep everything crossed and we will wait and see but i will let you know in my next vlog anyway um i might do a weekend vlog this weekend for monday Oh, here comes Abby. Wait till you see what she's made. Look at that pasta. Oh, Cajun. C creamy Cajun chicken pasta. Creamy Cajun chicken pasta. And she makes extra so that she can take some to work for lunch. Anyway, um, yeah, I might do a weekend vlog. One of my viewers has been asking me to do a weekend vlog for a while. And I kind of say no because I have her on so much in one day that I hate to think how long a weekend vlog will be. But they did ask me if I would vlog the Easter weekend and I thought, let's give it a go. It might not happen, it might be way too long, but Brooke is due back on Friday as well. She sent a photo as well, she's on Aaron and I'm mad because I've never been there. <laughs> she's there before me and we've been saying for the last few years where we're going to go. Um, so yeah, she's still really enjoying herself as well. So it's all good. So I'm going to go, I'm going to end this video. Easter has gone out of this room, even though it's not here yet. Um, Granny Annie's doing better, so yay, it's all good. Right, I will see you in our next one. Please hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed it. Talk to me in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Thanks everyone. Bye.